hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement google sign in in our react native app and it will be only for android as you can see in our android emulator we have this sign in with facebook and sign in with google button but for the ios simulator we don't have those buttons because since april 2020 apple has updated their policy since then to provide third party login authentication to your app you need to implement apple id login in your app and to provide that you need to enroll to apple developer program and as i am not enrolled to apple developer program so i am not able to do apple id authentication to my app so that's why we are not implementing sign in with google and facebook to ios we are implementing this only for android so if you are looking for the ios implementation of these things this tutorial is not for you you can skip this video and check out other tutorials of this playlist and in this tutorial series we are creating a social app by using firebase previously we have implemented firebase authentication in our app and also we have added this login and sign up screen and our onboarding screen as well so if you haven't checked those tutorials yet i would recommend you to check those tutorials because in this tutorial simply i am going Going to implement sign in with google functionality and it will require some configuration of the firebase and those configurations i have done previously where i have shown you how to implement this email based authentication so that tutorial is also recommended to follow this tutorial so if you find these tutorials interesting to you then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so this is our project and as you can see over here this is the login screen.js file and here i have provided a checking so we are checking for the platform os if it is android then we are rendering these buttons and if it is not android then we are returning null so that's what i have changed since my last tutorial and this is for sign up screen as well so these two files have been updated now to add the google sign in functionality to our app we need to go to the react native firebase documentation and here within this social authentication menu we have this google authentication section and here we can see that we need to first install this google sign in library in our app and here is that package so first we need to install it and to install it we need to use this command and as i am using npm so i will use npm install then the package name right so this package has been installed now let's see what we need to do so here is the android guide and we are following the android so we will go here so if you are using firebase then follow this guide we will follow this one so we need to go to the project setting in our firebase project so here is our project and this is the project setting and this is our android app and here we need to add a fingerprint and to provide that we need to create a key store file and we need to use this command to create our key store file so this file will be created and here it is providing the path incorrect so i have written a tutorial regarding this and here i have provided the code and all so this is the code which we need to use so i'm copying it and to use this code we need to go to this android app directory so i will go to android then i will go to app so i'm within the app directory now i have pasted this command and hit enter so here it is telling me that key pair not generated it already exists so let's see so within the app directory we have this debug.keystore and as it exists in my project i am not able to see the sha key in this terminal so i need to get the sha key and for that i need to provide another command which i have listed here in debugging section but before going into that i want to tell you that this command which i have just copied and used this command will work for mac only like this for the windows you need to go to this jdk path wherever you have installed it or else you can follow this link over here i have provided a link where they have provided a detailed guide for windows as well so now let's see the sh1 key 
so here i have added a debugging section where i have listed all of the issues which i have encountered or also you may encounter so these things will help you and will help me as well to follow along right now we need to copy this command so i have copied it and now paste it here now let's see we need to provide the key store password and the key store password we can find from this build.gradle file so here within this sign in configs we can see this debug section this debug.keystore is present in this app directory and this is the password so after providing the password here we can see the sh1 key now copy this one and add it here now click on save so here is another problem as this SHA is the default one so it's showing that it already existed in another project so what we will do i will delete this debug key store and i will create a new one so this is the previous command which we will use to create a new key store so i'm using it and here we need to provide some information like the first name organization name this kind of things so i'm providing my name so now we can see the new debug key store has been generated and now we need to see the credentials for it so we will use this command and we need to use this password which is android now we can see we have a different sha1 key so copy this one now use it here click on save now it has been added properly now after adding it we need to download this google services.json file previously we have added it to our project when we have configured our project with firebase but after adding this SHA certificate this file has been updated so we need to use the latest configuration file and here i have added it so i will replace this one with the previous one so here we have added it perfectly so in this process you might encounter several bugs so that's why i have created this tutorial and here i have provided a debugging section i will provide the link of this tutorial in the description below you can check out this tutorial from that it will be helpful now let's proceed with the rest of the configuration process for the react native greater than 0.60 version we don't need to do link process because of this auto linking but we need to add these things in our build.gradle file so let's check the build.gradle file which is within the android so here we need to add this line within this build script we need to add this one then in the dependencies we need to add this build gradle and google services and we have both of these added already so we don't need to add it and for repositories we need to add google and i believe it is already existed so save it after this go to this build.gradle file which is located within this app directory now here we need to add this line and this line has been already added by default so we don't need to add it and then we need to add this line and here they are telling that this line should be the last line and i believe i have already added it previously while we are configuring the firebase with our project but right now here they are suggesting it it should be the last line so i will remove this one and add it here now save it after saving it we don't need to do any more thing over here now i can go back and here we can see the implementation of it or else we can go to this react native firebase documentation here they are providing a sample code now before adding these codes we need to change something in our firebase console so here within this authentication within this sign in method previously we have enabled this email and password provider now we need to enable this google provider so we have to enable it and here we need to provide project support email 
so i have added that and clicked on save now after that we can see that it has been enabled now we can start adding the codes to our project so here we can see that before triggering sign in request we need to initialize the google sdk by providing these codes and this code should run while our app is mounted or the component has been mounted and that would be the auth stack js in our project and here we have this use effect so within this use effect we can add that code here we need to provide the web client id and that client id will be this id it ends with apps.googleusercontent.com so you need to provide your web client id over here and that you can get from this google services.json file and to use this google sign in we need to import it from the package so now close this metro bundler ui process and rebuild our project and as we have removed the debug key store file and created a new one so we need to rebuild our project by cleaning the gradle so here is the comment for it and for this we need to go to the android directory so we are right now at the app directory now i have moved into the android directory now paste this command and hit enter so we have the successful build now run the project so here is the problem that installation failed because the signature does not match with previously installed version yeah we have changed the signature of it so we need to uninstall the previous version of the app from our device and after that we need to build it now let's try to run this so now our app is running properly so let's implement the google login so here we can see this is the code for the google login button press function here on the button we are calling this on google button press function and this is the function which is doing the functionality so i have copied it and now we can use it in our auth provider here we have this login functionality now i will create another one for google login and it will be asynchronous function and here within this try catch block i will add it i will avoid for the credentials and for any kind of error i will catch it and output it in our console log so now we can use this google login function in our login screen so here we are accessing this google login from our auth context and we can call it here now save it now let's see click on this sign in with google okay can't find variable google login yeah we haven't added it here we need to copy this code and add it in this function as well now save it now let's check so here we can see the pop-up now we need to click on it so we have logged in in our app successfully right and then we can log out and again if we want we can log in to our app so our login functionality is working successfully now let's see if the user has been created or not so here we can see by using this google provider a new user has been created right and now one more thing after setting all these things and clicking on the sign in with google button if you don't see the pop-up and you can see an error like a developer error on the console then you need to check few things you need to go to this google developer console and here you need to open the project which you have created in the firebase you will have the same project in this google developer console as well and here you need to go to this oauth 2.0 client id section here you need to check for this web client so click on it and here you will see client id and secret now you need to check is these credentials are present in your firebase console or not so here within this firebase console for this google provider you need to check 
is the web client id and secret matches with the credentials present in the google developer console and this is the same client id which should be provided in the config file as well while you will configure the google sdk so you need to check these three things and also as i mentioned previously you need to download latest google services.json file so that is it guys this is the tutorial in my next tutorial i will show you how we can implement facebook login in our app so stay tuned for that i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye